this is the final look. I think it looked good from this. Wait, why do my lips feel weird? Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all, my chic beauty box finally came in the mail and I'm super excited to get into it. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this box feels really light. <laughs> like, it feels like there's barely anything in here. There's one very large item that came outside of the box. As far as like the things that are in here, it, it doesn't feel like there's much going on in this box. I did not get to choose any of the items in my box because I subscribed outside of the choice window. So they chose everything for me and I'm super excited to get into this video. Video, I'm already in the video. I'm excited to get into this box. First, we got a nice little bubble wrapped palette. If you guys didn't catch on, your girl's a naked mole rat, okay? And I'm a naked mole rat for a reason. We are gonna try on the makeup that is in this box, okay? If it's something for me to try on. Definitely gonna play around with this palette, you know, however it looks. Look at that packaging. Isn't that beautiful? That that is absolutely stunning. This is the Flare Palette by Ace Beauté. Now, if you guys didn't know, which I didn't know, but now I know, Ace Beauté is a Black-owned brand. But y'all, look at this palette. The inside is just as beautiful as the outside. Color pop. Let's go ahead and see what kind of color story we're working with. Ooh. We're definitely gonna have to be very adventurous, step outside of the comfort zone because there are a lot of funky, funky colors in here. There are also colors in here that are more neutral, but there are just so many funky, funky, fresh colors in here that I'm definitely gonna play around with them. So we first, we got a really cool palette. Very good start. When I open up the box, this is what she looks like. And there's some extra bubble wrap, which I love. Ooh, it's a cute little card. Okay, we love a good card. Dear Chic Babe, this is a conventional box of chocolates and rekindle your love affair with Chic Beauty Box. This month, let us play Cupid and shower you with a sweet treats while we sweep you off your feet. Ooh, okay, they got bars. The first item that I'm pulling out, Mud Masky, Mud Masky Glam Care? What is this? Glowing Illuminating Blush Drops. Oh, blush drop. So I guess this is a liquid bl 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 I guess this is a liquid blush, but it is in the color pink martini. That is what this looks like. I actually don't own any blush drops. Ooh, as soon as you open it up, like product is just coming out. I can't really tell much of a difference. It, it, it's giving more of a highlighter vibe. I mean, there is a slight pink to it, like a slight rose gold pink, but it's not pink enough where I would say this is a blush. It says that it's highlighting, glowing, softening, brightening, shimmering. I don't really see much pink. Do you, where's the pink? I, maybe I see the martini, but not the pink. The next thing is Project Lip Plump and Fill Lip Liner. Oh, the packaging is very simple. This is in the color, does it say? Chase, it's in the color Chase. So I'm guessing this is just like a lip liner, lip crayon, lip something. It's definitely for the lips. All right, so we got a little thingy thing, Mababa, right there. Let's see how much products you get first. Let's see. Because sometimes we'll be having this big old thing and then you only get this much products. Ooh, okay, so you get a decent amount of products. It's very creamy. I think that's pretty. I typically go for a more sharper look with my lip line. Maybe I can line my lips with something else and then use this as like a lip, like it says lip filler. The next item in here is by, uh, who is this by? Beauty for certain. Okay, I had to look around because I couldn't see, I didn't see no no packaging name, no name on it uh, until I looked right here. And this is, what is this? I'm like searching to figure out what this is. Where is it? What is this? Cream blusher in the number three. Look at that. I think that is so pretty. This has like a really peachy kind of color. And y'all know, I recently discovered that peach is my color. And I'm very excited to get into that. Let me see, let me do a little, a little swatchy swatch. So we got a little color right there. I think that's pretty. Hopefully it's buildable. Cause you know, I like to beam my blush. Okay, I like to be, you know, borderline jigsaw. I like a very strong blush. So I probably have to see if I can build that up a little bit more. For now, this is this is really nice. And I love the packaging. I think that is super adorable. The last item that I got was a slim brow pencil. This is what this looks like. Honestly, I'm excited to get another brow pencil because the one that I typically 
use is running out. <laughs> it is nice to get another brow pencil and this one is super pretty. This is by Physicians Formula. I've never actually used their product before. Oh, it's one of these. I do not like these type of eyebrow pencil things. I prefer a pencil that I can sharpen because I like a nice fine point. I mean, I can use this and I will use this, but not my favorite. I don't like that style. Maybe po position. Maybe position formula is the eyebrow pencil in that style that I've been like wanting or needing my whole life. And it's gonna just change my entire perspective. We'll hold our judgment until we try it. That was everything in my chic beauty box. So let's go ahead and get into this try on, okay? We gotta try on some makeup. I have a few other items that are relatively new that I've yet to try. So we're gonna give those a chance as well. First being this Ace Beauté Hydrating Face Primer. I got this in my Ips... I got this in my Ipsy bag. So I'm very excited to actually try this out. Comes in a little applicator like such. So we're gonna do like the Instagram people. This primer doesn't really like glide over the face as much as I would like it to. It kind of just like sticks there. Now maybe that's like a function of primers and it makes it actually a really good primer. I don't know. But I typically like gel primers where it just kind of glides over your face and then seeps into your skin. But you know, it's not bad. I mean, we'll see how it holds up the makeup. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty. I tried and true. I keep going. Like why is it? <laughs> That we do that. What function does that serve? Again, tried and true, LA girl, pro concealer, concealing professional, pink lips. Okay, we stand, we stand pink lips. The first thing from our chic beauty box that we're gonna get into is this beauty for certain blush. I guess I'm just gonna go in with my finger and then kind of place the blush, see if I can build it up. I mean, it's definitely pretty. There's no if, ands, or buts about this. This is a very beautiful blush. And it's definitely buildable. You see, I'm building it. I'm pull a, pull a little bit of my nose. Now let's see how she blends out. She there, I just hope she don't disappear once I put the powder on. So now that we have our blush down, this is also a liquid. So I'm guessing that this should go on underneath the powder. I mean, we're definitely luminous. That is pretty. Let's just see how it holds up after I put powder on. I am gonna go in with my Lunar Beauty. I've been liking this powder, y'all. Laura Mercier got a little, little battle on her hands. I want a really fluffy, like big, soft, fluffy brush. Holding out that one of these subscription boxes will come through. Estates, okay, we love estates. Now we're gonna go ahead and give this Physicians Formula Eyebrow Pencil a chance. Hopefully um, we can make the eyebrows do what it do. This thing looks so tiny. I feel like it's gonna just break right off. I mean, it's working okay. Still not my go-to, but it's not terrible. Are the eyebrows browing? I think they are. I think they're browing. This will be nice until I get a pencil that's, you know, my typical, my typical type of eyebrow pencil. Um, let's see, what's next, what's next, what's next? The star of the show. And that is this Ace Beauté, I think it's upside down, Ace Beauté palette. I should have been thinking about what type of style I wanted to do while I was doing the rest of my face, but I wasn't. I was not thinking about it whatsoever. So I got to think about it now. I'm going to go into pumpkin, okay? I'm going to go into pumpkin right here for my transition shade. Oh, she pigmented. Bruh, I only dipped into her a very little bit. Now that is how you eyeshadow, okay? I didn't do any swatches, so I didn't know what to expect. And it is blending like a freaking dream. So far, we starting off good. To deepen her up, I'm actually gonna go into hazelnut. The pigment is pigmenting. So, I mean, that deepened it up a little bit, but I do want it to be just slightly, ever so slightly deeper. So we're gonna actually go into acorn. Tap, 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 tap that in the corner.
Now I'm actually gonna go in and try to diffuse this a little bit and kind of merge these colors in together a little bit better. I think this is looking kind of cute, you know, with my glasses off. I'm blind, so maybe it's not as cute as I think it is. Let's see, we'll find out very shortly if it's cute or not. For my lid, I'm actually going to go into Firefly, this really pretty color right here. Ooh. Okay, maybe we're going for fall vibes today. Is that what we doing? We doing fall or autumn? Now I'm just gonna take my little brush right here and then just kind of blend around that. Now I've been really feeling like halo eyes. So I'm gonna try to do a little halo effect using biscotti. Okay, this little color right here. Blend around that. Mm, okay, well my glasses is off, it looked pretty good. I'm actually gonna do something a little funky fresh, okay? A little funky, funky fresh. I actually wanna do like a matte inner corner. I mean, it's kind of weird, but we'll see. Maybe it's gonna add something kind of pop of color to this look. And I'm gonna go into cider. That's different. Uh, whether or not I like it, I don't know yet. I just, I don't know yet. Hopefully I like it because it's on my face. Next, I'm actually going to smoke out the bottom of my eye. I'm gonna use hazelnut. Okay, I'm gonna go back into hazelnut. I'm actually gonna dip into acorn as well and put a little bit of acorn underneath that as well, just to kind of deepen it up a little. We're gonna go ahead and line the eyes, okay? Put the eyes in line with my Stilla. The eyes are in line, okay? They lined up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spray. That's what I'm gonna do. I almost I almost did what it did last time, which is forget to spray and then start doing mascara and it just jacked my whole face up. I'm actually gonna use my Milk Cosmetics Hydro Grip the blush kind of disappeared, which I'm not a fan of. You know, I like my blush to be borderline jigsaw. Maybe I need to put even more on. I'm gonna have to see, cause it's just, it's not blushing, blushing the way I like to blush. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my MAC Magic Extension. Ooh, I actually really like this. This is nice. It definitely gave my eyelashes more length without making them too spidery or gross looking. I might actually get the full size. See. Next, I'm gonna go in with my ZC, a little flimsy, flimsy ZC. All right, the eyes are done. Let's see, let's see. Next, I'm actually gonna go in with my Cobb Cosmetics in red velvet. We're gonna line these lips. And finally, the last product that we have in our beauty, chic beauty box is this lip plumper and lip liner, lip plump, plump liner. I don't know. I guess this is by Project Lip. I don't know. Maybe that's the brand. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm gonna just kind of go in with this like a lipstick, I guess. I mean, it feels good. It feels good on my lips. This is the final look. I think it looked good from this. Wait, why do my lips feel weird? Okay, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on this product because it's making my lips tingle. And I know lip plumpers do that, so I probably should have taken the hint when it said plump and fill lip liner. I don't know how much more plump my lips can get. I mean, I'm black girl, they're already plump. Yes, y'all, this is the final look. I think it looks cute. <laughs> With my glasses off, I think I look cute. Maybe when I put my glasses on, I'll be like, girl, what was you doing? My thoughts, my thoughts, my thoughts. I think this box was okay. The saving grace was that palette. That palette by Ace Beauté is that girl. She's pigmented. All the shades are just, just stunning. This is a very, very playful palette and you get so many different varieties. You can do blue looks, you can do green, you have more neutral, you have more fiery, you could do the blues, you can do the greens, you have more neutral looks, you have more fiery looks. You know, you have some really nice options when it comes to this palette. Overall, I think this is a good box. Was I like wowed and amazed? Probably not, but I think it's solid. I, I, I think that the products that I got are okay. The lip plumper, I don't like how it feels on my lips. Do my lips look more plump? They're tingling. I don't like that. I like for my lips to feel regular. So I don't know if I will be keeping this. The color is pretty. I just don't know if I like this tingle, 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 tingle on my lips. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fabe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. Thank <music> you.